This video will familiarize you with the fundamentals of loading data into Snowflake tables. Snowflake supports four options for loading data. You can use the web interface to load limited amounts of data. You can bulk load large amounts of data using SQL commands and SnowSQL, the Snowflake command line interface. You can also automate bulk loading using Snowpipe. And you can use third-party tools to bulk load data from external sources. This video focuses on SQL, but we will touch on the other three methods at the end. Using SQL, you can bulk load data from any delimited plain text files, such as comma delimited CSV files. You can also bulk load semi-structured data from JSON, Avro, Parquet, or ORC files. However, this video focuses on loading from CSV files. Bulk loading is performed in two phases. First, you upload your data files to a location where Snowflake can access the files. This is referred to as staging your files. Then, you load the data from these staged files into your table. Snowflake lets you stage files in internal locations called stages. Each table and user has a stage. Snowflake also supports creating name stages. Internal stages enable convenient and secure storage of data files without requiring any external resources. However, if your data files are already staged in a supported cloud storage location, you can skip phase one and load directly from these external locations. You just need to supply the URL for the location as well as access credentials if the location is protected. You can also create name stages that point to your external locations. Phase two requires a running virtual warehouse. The warehouse extracts the data from each file and inserts it as rows in the table. Warehouse size can impact loading performance. When loading large numbers of files or large files, you may want to choose a larger warehouse. We will now demonstrate using SQL and SnowSQL to load CSV files from a local machine into a table named contacts in the demo DB database. We will use a name internal stage to store the files before loading. All of the files used in this video are available to try for yourself. See the Snowflake documentation for step-by-step -step instructions. The table was created using the following SQL. And the files contain records like this. Notice that the columns in the tables correspond to the fields in the records in the files. We'll start by creating an internal stage name CSV files. Next, we'll execute a put command to stage the files in CSV files. Let's take a closer look at the command. File specifies the full directory path and names of the files to stage. Notice that we use a wildcard to load multiple files. That symbol specifies where to stage the files. By default, the put command compresses data files using gzip. To see that the files were staged, you can use the list command. Now we're ready to load data from the stage files into the contacts table. First, specify a virtual warehouse to use. Then, use the copy command to load the files. Looking more closely at this command, into specifies the table where the data will be loaded. From identifies the location of the stage files, in this case, the CSV files stage. Pattern specifies the data files to load. Here, we're loading from data files with names that include the numbers 1 through 4. On error tells the command what to do when it encounters errors in the file. Snowflake provides powerful options for error handling while data loading, which will be covered in a later video. The load was successful. You can now query your table using SQL. As we mentioned earlier, you can use Snowpipe for bulk loading data, particularly from file stage and external locations. Snowpipe uses the copy command, but with additional features that let you automate the process. Snowpipe also eliminates the need for a virtual warehouse. Instead, it uses internal compute resources to continuously load data as files are staged. And you are charged only for the actual data loaded. We also mentioned using third-party tools to bulk load data. Often referred to as ETL or ELT, Snowflake supports an ever-expanding ecosystem of applications and services for loading data from a wide range of external sources. 
If you're interested in using an ETL tool but haven't selected one yet, Snowflake Partner Connect lets you quickly and easily sign up for free trials with selected partners. The fourth and final option for loading data is the Data Loading Wizard in the Snowflake web interface. Simply select the table you want to load and click the Load button. The wizard simplifies loading by combining the two phases into a single operation and automatically deleting all the stage files after loading. However, the wizard is intended for loading only small numbers of files containing small amounts of data. For large amounts of data, it's best to use one of the other options. This concludes this quick introduction on data loading. For more information about data loading, see the Snowflake documentation. Thanks for watching.